Darn it. Sorry about that. I... Once a tournament. Once a tournament, it always happens where I forget to unmute myself. <sighs> anyway. Sorry about that. So, as I was saying, the overall sea play coming in from the south side, like, they're... They're going for much lighter things. Stuff that's reasonably good, except Sea Wolves did tear it apart, so that obviously didn't work out too well. And otherwise, it's hard to really know what's going to happen. Also, I'm wondering if I should change my water settings somewhat again, because I can't see what's underwater. It's actually kind of bugging me. I mean, it's more of a bug in the way that some of the in rendering interacts with itself, but... At any rate, this iron is possibly going to go down, at least getting some competition off of coming off of what's coming out of Southeast. And Southeast does have a bit of an economic advantage. Or wait, really? Ah, reclaim, of course. Yeah, they managed to get the reclaim from all the early assaults. That explains the economic advantage. And indeed, that is working out fairly well. With the Siren having managed to get some damage in, that's something. But now it's getting quickly disarmed. And the Seawolves and Corsairs will be able to finish it off. So, good try. Very nice attempt coming in from the southeast side, but they haven't got much else. The Claymore really has been their best option, and of course, having lost the Hovercraft Factory, that's not an option anymore. So Loke's coming in as well, and the thing about gunships, they don't have a huge amount of options to hit underwater. They have, I think, the Black Dawn. I think. I'm not sure. But if you want to hit underwater, your best bet is planes. And that's the problem. It, like, planes just don't do as much for a lot of other things. They, I mean, gunships, they're much more granular. They're a bit more mobile. They obviously can maintain position as they kill things. It's kind of hard to set that up. And of course, for the thing is, though, for Locusts, they're going to have to deal with the Corsairs, and the Corsairs are pretty much perfectly set up to kill them. They're not even going to need to have anti-air troops. Like, Shredders are of no use. They just need the Corsairs. At the same time, though, because it is team, they do have the Hunters coming in, so that will at least be torpedoes. That can at least deal with the Seawolves to some extent. Not as well as the Claymore was, but it's something. At the same time, though, on the Northwest side, they have a much stronger Navy. They've had... I mean, the Sirens are going to be doing a great job here. The Sirens, I think, the only thing they can't deal with is anything underwater. I think they're restricted from that. But at the same time, the Seawolves are there, and there's nothing in response underwater. Southeast hasn't gone for Seawolves at all. Everything is above water. Everything is in the air in some cases. They have everything they need. And yeah, Blood Touch is like, no, don't go for it. You will die. And indeed, yes, you would die. And the Corsairs at least are going down, but at the cost of a Siren and pretty much everything else, there's... I mean, the Sirens are going to be able to tear apart the, the Locusts as well. There's... Not a whole lot here that exists that's going to actually deal with anything. I'm really confused as to why Shetra decided to go for Locust, considering that the Shredders would stop them. Or not the Shredders, the Corsairs would stop them. The Sirens would also deal a lot of damage. There's nothing really that would work to their favor. So, given that, I don't really know how to think of what's going to happen. Because really, at this point, the Sirens are taking the Lot Locusts apart. The only option they might have might be either Black Dons or Nimbuses. That's about it. Or, as this as Blatchet is pointing out, go around the back. Their entire army's up front. The way that C works is very non-granular. So if their army's in one spot, it means it's nowhere else on the map. At all. And most defenses are going to be for urchins. They're going to be underwater. They're expecting C. And this is a really good idea. But at this point, Northwest is actually only slightly ahead of Southeast in terms of economy, and Southeast is still getting mileage out of their reclaim, so overall, this is going to be an extremely strong trade. In fact, it could break the game. It could completely turn it into Northwest into Southeast's favor, especially if this Mariner goes down. That is huge, and the Shredders will be starting to build... Oh, no, Zephyrs, sorry. Zephyrs have the call now. Zephyrs are getting built up, but even then, it's still a massive deal. Like, all of these metal extractors are going to go down. A bunch of the tidal generators are going to go down. There's so much that's available for damage for, to target. It's I mean, Also, it's forcing back all the seafood units. This is an absolutely perfect strategy. Well done, Black Duchy, to point this out. Kshatriya taking all this damage in, dealing all the damage, really, not taking much of it. Just dealing all this damage before the AA gets built up, which there is a Razor now, or at least a Razor under construction, so it is something. But hey, this is... This was a very smart play, and that could give Southeast the game, potentially, given the fact that they've turned that into a massive economic advantage. 
And also turn that lack of pressure potentially into, well, not for reclaim, the Mariner is likely to turn the reclaim into solid economy as well. So overall, well done splitting the army, well done taking care of a lot of the backline stuff, well done taking care of a lot of the urchins as well for later assaults. Good thinking, Shatra. So overall, this has slowed down everything. There is the one razor that's not even complete yet. In fact, it's not even being built at this point. But hey, who cares? Just go for the main base. Get rid of the Zephs. Let's get rid of the Zephyrs. Get rid of the shipyard if possible. I mean, at this point, you almost might as well. One of the razors is up. But there is still a position that they could... Yeah, there is a position they could get rid of the shipyard from. And they have found it. But again, the Siren coming in here. Still, though, the amount of value that Shatra got out of that, that is huge. Oh, apparently Sonic can target underwater targets. Okay, good to know. So yeah, Sirens can't hit everything. Sirens are the generalist force of the sea, which is why they're so popular. But at the same time, hey, why not build some some Mistrals? Some nice multi-launch rocket systems. Now that you've broken most of the sea defenses, break everything else. Seems like a good idea to me. And given that Southeast, again, does have an economic advantage, and they're now turning that into an attrition advantage, this is huge. If they can get rid of the Razors, that opens things up again for the Locusts, exactly as is happening now. Opening up for the Urchins as well. There's nothing in Northwest's favor right now. Nothing stopping Southeast from coming in. The only thing that Southeast doesn't have is Solid Economy, which this Mariner could start building any time. And indeed, another Mariner... Sorry, not another Mariner. The Commander from Kshatri is going to be building up. So, at least with that, Southeast is going to solidify their economic advantage. But the amount of time they've had the economic advantage and turning that into a, a 2,000 metal attrition advantage, that is game-winning. They just need to maintain the pressure. That's it. And given that they had the gunships and their opponents went double shipyard with no additional factories, there's not a whole lot their opponents can do. The only option they'd really have is sea wolves, maybe serpents, and then try to sneak around these forces and get around the bottom. That could work. There's not a whole lot that exists on the southeast side to deal with underwater, but at the same time, there's only the one sea wolf. It's just, it's so necessary on defense that there's not much else they can do. And, I mean, the Zephyr, one of the Zephyrs is up. That is, that is a bit of a problem. So they have their AA, but hey, that's not anti-C. That doesn't stop the Mistrals, that doesn't stop the, si the Sirens. And the Mistrals can just do so much damage coming in here, there's nothing to be, nothing to be done. What can Northwest do other than maybe coming in with the Sea Wolves? That's the only option they have, and the Sirens are still putting a stop to that, only with the one Sea Wolf. A Serpent could do the trick potentially, but again, Splitting the money between all these different forces, the Sirens are the obvious option. And anything else isn't going to work. The only other option I can think of would be long-range artillery. I mean, potentially, but I don't even know. Envoys might be able to do the trick, but again, the question is speed. And Envoy actually is up for, for Black Touch, because why not? But yeah, with the force moving this fast, I'm not even sure the Envoy's cannons would hit. Answering with Mistrals of their own, maybe. And the Sirens can kind of deal with the with the cannons, but the Mistrals just deal with them first. There's so little here that's going to be effective that it's... I don't know, Northwest... Really, a lot of that just came down to Northwest not realizing anti-air would be a thing they needed to deal with. And Black Touching Chatria just striking when it was perfectly timed. A razor was coming up. It, was, it wasn't like Northwest had no idea air would happen. They just didn't realize it would happen that fast. A great turnaround by Black Touching Chatria securing that match, and I believe that puts them in the lead right now. They're 3-1 total. So very well done to Kshatriya and to Black Duchy. Well, curious, of course, as always, what other matches are there? Because it looks like no other matches have been reported, which means we are going to be seeing potentially another match, because we have time. It's only 12 minutes in. So with that, we have... What else do we have here? A match between... Okay, Sanic and Topcac finished theirs. Google Frog and 400 are still continuing theirs against Kingstad and Pyrostasis. But that might be done. And... Who else is playing? Near Catastrophe. Okay, they're done their match. So most of the matches are actually done. At this point, I'm just going to take... Okay, just going to take a quick break. And we'll be back with round five. As the tournament continues and really winds down. We are at the latter half of the tournament so far. So stay tuned as we go to the latter half and finish this thing off.